Today, at the edge of our hope, at the end of our time, we have chosen not only to believe in ourselves, but in each other. So, hi, this is Salas Ames with another video for you, and that was a kind of an opportunity to show off my cool new t-shirt, which I got from my friend. Thank you very much. And I love it. As you can see, red and orange and purple are my favorite colors. They just make me feel very happy and energetic and alive. So, what I want to talk about today, other than how much I love Pacific Rim, is uh, something that came up while I was answering questions at a group blog called This Is Not Japan, which is a blog on Tumblr about cultural appropriation. And I noticed that a lot of the questions are very childlike. And I know that some people who are into nerd and geek culture and so on and are really into anime and things like that are, you know, kids, and that's great. But some of them still have this very childlike mentality up into their 30s, 40s, and beyond. And it's, um, it's embarrassing, basically. So uh, what I wanted to talk about today is how can we maybe distinguish the good parts of, act, of adults acting like kids from the bad parts of adults acting like kids. Um, and uh, bring it back to Pacific Rim again. I love Pacific Rim because I think it's a good movie for adults and for kids. It can appeal to both. And I've seen a lot of kids' movies where they appeal to the kids with fart jokes and they appeal to the adults with dated pop cultural references. And those kind of movies are just absolutely unsupportable. I mean, uh, I remember I saw the uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakle movie, and they had a Honey Badger joke in there for the adults. Like, oh, that's so funny. <sighs> okay, but Pacific Rim had this appeal to uh, to kids, I mean, not really young kids, because it'd be too scary for them, um, and and also, uh, you know, to adults. I mean, it's it's big, it's, it's simple, it's visually complicated, but it's narratively straightforward, and it, it's got some good messages in it. And uh, a lot of the messages are about getting along, about teamwork, about pulling together, about facing your responsibilities. And um, I, I think in a way that being a nerd or a geek and being into this stuff like giant monsters and, and giant robots does allow you to hold on to a sense of childishness, of uh, the good things about being a kid. Um, curiosity, imagination, a whimsical sense of humor, um, you, being at this stage where you're always learning and, and growing and, and interested in things. and, and uh, and the the problem though is when people also hang on to the bad parts of being a kid because little kids are often very selfish they don't have the tools for critical empathy they don't understand how to put themselves into other people's shoes and uh they have a very childlike sense of what is right and what is wrong so a lot of times they'll use uh, logic like well they stole the cookie from the cookie jar first, so that means it's okay for me to do it. Or, well, they got in trouble for that. How come I don't get in trouble for that? And there's a lot of very selfishness and, and nasty behavior that kids do. And ideally, when we grow up, we hang on or we remember and, and recreate some of the best things about being a kid, but we don't do this nasty kind of behavior that you will see a lot of times in... Uh, you know, message boards or forums or, or blogs where people are just so, it's its almost like territorial pissing in a way, you know, it's just, uh, and, and men do it, women do it, the common denominator is that it is childish, it is very bad behavior, and sometimes it just, I just have to throw up my hands, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a kid, but let's be a kid in good ways, not bad ways, so um, that's all I have to say today, and I will uh, see you next week. Thanks again for this awesome t-shirt. Bye-bye.